Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Friday, the 5th of January 2024. So Goldilocks, uh, gourd by growth gains, bounces as rate cut hopes uh, hammered. Uh, growth's just too damn hot. Yes, I uh, saw that from the job numbers yesterday. Choppy trade in stocks while bonds sold off ahead of US NFP numbers. They're out today. And there's trouble brewing behind the scenes as well as uh, bank bailout fund usage just keeps soaring. So banks are being bailed out uh, behind the scenes. And uh, you can see there in the, the graph, the funds continue to be uh, growing, being helped out by the, the Fed. And interestingly enough, um, I don't know if anybody else uh, has had this, but uh, Barclays, who I had a, a, an overdraft with uh, on a, an account that was uh, used to be £7,000, has been uh, reduced to uh, 600 So something seems to be going on around... Uh, the uh, the banking system as well not that i ever used uh, that uh, overdraft but i thought wow that's an interesting thing that's uh, going on here and that came into force as of uh, yesterday when i received a text message so i don't know whether they're trying to protect themselves cover themselves and try and reduce potential losses but something uh, is going on so i don't know anybody else has experienced that uh, recently with any of the other banks but barclays certainly tightening up on the overdraft situation uh, economic news today, we've got uh, the main one, non-farm payrolls. That's what the market's uh, waiting for. We had uh, the uh, ADP yesterday. I put jolts down in the uh, narrative, but I did actually mean the uh, ADP numbers. They came out hot, 164, 120, previous 101. So, uh, yeah, it would be interesting to see what uh, the non-farm come out today. Uh, their forecast at uh, 168, previous 199. But I'm sure they'll downgrade and readjust the figures just to make them look uh, not as bad as they probably potentially are going to be. So we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, let's have a look at the markets. Kick off with the Dow. And in the Dow, you can see that uh, we're sideways to lower. The market's down on the overnight at the moment as well. So we're breaking down. Got to stay above the 20 bar moving average in the daily chart there. 30 minute chart so you can see it was sideways and choppy waiting for those adp numbers the market responded to those and then they brought the market all the way back to where it started and to say there's weakness on the overnight at the moment so uh, non-farm out at 130 the market's likely to be choppy initially and then trade sideways as it waits for those numbers in the german dax uh, little bar for yesterday uh, it's moved quite a bit overnight at the moment to the downside, but they're doing the best to try and bring this back. And if those numbers aren't as hot, then they will uh, endeavour to do that. In the 30 minutes uh, for yesterday, we moved up, we moved down, we had a retracement, and then we moved back up. And then overnight, we're heading also down towards uh, the low at the moment. The market down 70 odd points. Uh, uh, sorry, about 50 points uh, looking at this at the moment. Uh, and still... Uh, in the previous 30 minute bar uh, moving down quite sharply there in the S&P 500 continue to move lower nowhere near that all-time high at the moment so under a lot of pressure heading towards uh, oversold also looks like we're below yesterday's uh, low as well I would just come into it now so a bit of weakness there in the S&P it'll be interesting to see if the market can hold at this level yesterday was down rallied on the ADP and then back so expect to rally off the uh, non-farm payroll but whether it holds that's going to be the key whether it holds or not FTSE trading sideways as uh, you can see they're stuck in a bit of a range 30 minute charts are very choppy uh, just uh, became less choppy till the ADP numbers and then uh, since uh, peaking yesterday the market's heading back towards the low of yesterday there as well US dollar continues to move higher, uh, adding further pressure to uh, the um, precious metals markets and also uh, to the inability of uh, Powell to be able to reduce rates if the dollar is going up because the dollar is obviously sensing that uh, interest rates uh, may have to go up at the moment. There seems to be quite a few news articles pointing in this direction. Can't see it myself, but I can also see the fact that they won't be able to reduce and that's probably enough to move the dollar to the upside. But let's have a look at the reaction of the metals to this news. Well, no surprise, really, the market down again yesterday. Price is trading down uh, from uh, this low to here. And you'll see uh, they're coming back to 89 and finding a bit of support. If the numbers come out hot, uh, expect a bit of a rally in the silver market uh, initially before it's then pressured to the downside once more. Uh, again, you can see the ADP reaction there, so you know what you're going to get with the NFP numbers if the 
numbers come out hot, uh, still closing a below yesterday's high, even despite the Asian uh, bit of a push to the upside. Uh, don't be surprised if the low of yesterday is uh, retested later today. Gold holding steadier, as uh, you can see there at the 20 bar moving average. And then we've got the 30 minute chart where it's uh, still a bit of a sell off, but uh, less so. And uh, also uh, still about uh, the DP there. So silver actually above the high of yesterday, whereas uh, gold currently is nowhere near it. So that means that the gold silver ratio will be towards, uh, uh, so will be slightly lower. So let's have a look at that. So yeah, gold silver ratio. Uh, down a bit uh, but like I say expect it to go back to uh, the 100 mark with uh, little fuss and with a lot of ease as they continue to uh, grind the silver price uh, down okay let's see what uh, the NFP numbers are going to be today out at 130 a bit of a volatile start I suspect and then the market going very quiet uh, mid-morning to uh, await events at 130 Okay, that's it for this one and for this week. So have a great weekend. I will see you in Monday's edition of the Market Alert. And as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next